What's up, Foppers? This is Ill Shifted here from Focus on Play, bringing you the next installment of our Overwatch feature. Um, Overwatch has been implemented by Valve to detect hackers. They've allowed a few amount of people to actually use this Overwatch feature. Um, I have just been so lucky enough to be given this privilege to uh, Overwatch, and I will be filming it for you guys to watch as well. Um, basically, what they do is they want you to find out if this guy is indeed hacking. Um, we're going to watch this together, and um, we're going to call out stuff that I see and stuff that maybe I hope you guys see as well. Um, this is the warm-up round. It lasts uh, about a minute long, and um, normally you can get a couple of, you can get a kind of sneak preview on what the hell is really happening here. Um, so let's let's go ahead and just watch. Maybe he does something a little bit fishy here. From so far, I can't see if there's anything really official. Um, I mean, yeah, you could have seen that guy coming out pretty easily. Alright, well now the round has begun, so let's see what they end up really doing. Looks like they're gonna go straight out. Let's see. Uh, he kind of looked at the guy that was over. That was some good pre pre watching the, the, uh, what do you call those? The rafters right there. Uh, when he did come out, he did kind of look at the guy that was in mini. Um, we do have the x ray feature, which does help us uh, look through the walls. Um, now, this is not something that they will see, but it is only something that we will see. Kind of like the feature when you're playing a, a normal game, when you die, you can watch other people. Uh, and see what all they're doing. Um, kind of how you kind of see your team. Uh, given by the way that he just kind of flashed himself, gives me the feeling that he's not really a great player. Now that was fishy, right there. He looked at him before he, he peeked, he looked at him through. Now that is a normal pre uh, peeking spot, but the way that he peeked it kind of um, makes me th think something a little weird. Now he did hear that guy, I heard that guy. But this guy back here is walking, which confuses me. How he can know? No, see that? That makes me feel like he does have some visual assistance. Mm. We'll find out. I mean, I'm not gonna call it straight away on the first two rounds. Um, he could have been called out exactly where he was, but if somebody were to call him out, the way he was walking, how would they know that he was there? Um, you never really know. Um, so we'll see how this next one goes. It seems to me that he's actually uh, looking or smoking out. That's okay. See, there he goes again. He's, he's shooting him through the smoke and landing exactly where he is. He's not kind of just, aim, you know, shooting around, but he knows exactly where to aim it. Like right now. Look at that. Yeah. See, that's that's fishy. Um, that's a normal peaking spot, but the way that he plays is so open-minded. Oh yeah. See right there. You see how he shot the wall first, and that's where the guy was. That right there is the kind of stuff that you want to look for. He, I mean, he probably knows that there's a wall there, but he didn't know it when he was playing it, and he shot the wall before he shot the player, because that would have looked legit if there wasn't that wall there. Like, it would have looked like a legit peek, but because he shot it first, it makes me feel like he could be hacking. Huh. Seems to be smoking out, so I guess he's gonna be playing outside. Now, smoking could be like the hacker's favorite tool. See the way that he pre fires right when he comes out? I mean, the, these are normal pre fire corners, but so is like over to the left. And he didn't peek over there. All he's focused on is this guy right here. He's not focused on any. Look at that. He's checking to see where the other team is. If y'all see something different or you play like this, and you're legit and and you can tell me like hey this is just how good players play and I'm just the imbecile here please let me know and I, I will not be offended I'm not gonna start any kind of rage contest but look at that come on that guy just what he's got a peak he's pre-fired before he even peaked that has visual assistance written all over it. he's already looking at heaven yeah that that could have been called out easily that's a normal call it's a normal spot people play but he didn't check any other rafters. First thing he looked at was for heaven. Uh, makes me kind of feel like this guy does have the visual assistance. 
So they call this guy the suspect. They don't want to give you his legit name, which is understandable. Um, I kind of wish they would give us a way to be able to listen to what their team's calling. That way I know. But look at this. Look at this. Nah, I'm sorry. This guy's done. In my, in my book, I'm going to go ahead and give him that visual assistance. Um, and I'll, I'll probably end up giving him uh, aim assistance as well. Um, we'll, we'll see, though. Maybe... It's hard, man. When you're like halfway through it and and you see a lot, this much fishy stuff, by my by my beliefs, this is this is it. This is this guy has been deemed a hacker in my mind. Like, it's un. I hope that you guys, if you do see something, please be vocal about it. Let me know. I want to know. I want to be the best. I want to be the best at this. I'm not. I don't want to botch some guy who's legitly good. But the, see how he just shoots behind the boss perfectly at where that guy is. Um. That kind of stuff, man. It's the fishy stuff. I would, you know, if you have a hacker on your team, please, please kick that guy. I do it. I know, but you know, you win so many games, and you don't want to do it because you know that you're gonna be you're gonna be hindering yourself from having your top your, your top fragger, even if it isn't legit. It's just gone, and you replace him with a bot. And that really does suck, like, having to now, no longer be able to, yeah, but see, look at that. The way that he just pre-fired, I mean, just so quick about it. And it's not like that's impossible. None, none of the stuff that he does is impossible. But playing consistently like that, being aggressive, up until he sees, like, somebody that I think through the walls, and then decides to, to play passive and, like, get make sure he gets the kill. N just looking at where the guy is it makes me feel like this guy isn't legit and I'm I'm sorry that I, that I have to say it but maybe if Valve were to implement a way for you know you could you could kick you could, you could and, well instead of kicking because you hindrance yourself you're gonna lose losing your rank what you could do maybe is call for a, a truce where both players it doesn't count game it's it's truced out and maybe that way if people didn't feel like their own ranking was on the line that they would be way more than willing to, to call a truce on it or maybe have someone re replace them or some feature uh, some way to do it there, there's got to be another way to, to have to, for them to be able to implement that They've already implemented such an amazing feature as Overwatch in the first place. And if you do have Overwatch, you should. It, it's almost your obligation to do this. Because what you're doing, you're pretty... You are the anti-cheat. You are the community. Judging your peers. Because if, if you play Counter-Strike, if you're any kind of Counter-Strike player, then you are against hacking. You are against what these people are doing. They're ruining your game, and it's up to you to change that. You have the ability, and you you might as well use it, cause, cause not everybody is given the ability. Some people deserve it, and they don't get it. And I hope that they like if you've ever been reported for hacking, that you never get it. Um, they don't give the legitimate other names for the other players, and that's fine. Uh, they do it to avoid uh, discretion. Like maybe you saw your name was on there, and maybe it's not you that was hacking, but you're like, oh shit, I don't want. I don't want to look as look like a bad person, you know. Um, yeah, just the way that he plays, mate. It just gives me the feeling that hey, this guy, he's not playing. He's not playing the way that that he should be playing. Uh, you know, with just his. Yeah, you have my view. If you guys feel like I I've made a missed call, let me know. I think I I I can make better calls. I can. I can be really good at this. I, if if I share my experience, and I have y'all's experience, I could, like, that, that's why I like it so much. I am a part of the solution, which is cool. It's it's good to be a part of the solution. Look at that, that that pre fire was so good. Uh, the op is one of the hackers' best weapons because they, but see, look at that. Now he's just people. These hackers know that overwatch is out and they will do stuff to make it not look like they're hacking but you see how aggressive he was just kind of lolly lollygagging around and then when he saw that guy he was like oh shit maybe maybe i need to uh say that you know maybe i need to look like i'm legit you know 
whatever. Um, so these, this is the Overwatch resolution. I will be able to decide what I uh, feel like this guy, if he's hacking or not. Um, basically, I'll explain each of these. Aim assistance is uh, they have the ability to, they're getting helped with their aiming. Uh, you know, reduced recoil. Um, the, you know, it's just aiming for you, basically. Um, I, I feel like he did have control over his aiming, but he did look like maybe he had, you know, he didn't have a hard time shooting it. You know, you have to really control your, your shots and make sure they all land, which I didn't seem like he ever had a problem with it. So, yeah. Um, visual assistance? Well, that'll be more of your you're looking through the walls, which I think this guy is definitely looking through walls. And that's, like, without a doubt in my mind. Um... Then you have other external assistance. That'd be stuff like speed hacking, you know, jump scripts. Uh, I don't think I saw any of that. Um, you know, he wasn't like, you know, bunny hopping all over the place. So, um, and then you have your griefing. Am I feeling on griefing? You know, if you, if you're a hacker, you're a griefer. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say yes. Uh, aim assist definitely, or not definitely, but enough to where I would say that he was. He did have some sort of aim assist. Next, I'm probably gonna, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that he did have the visual assistance, definitely. Um, from what I saw, if you guys see something different, different, please, please let me know. I really appreciate if y'all will let me know um, about that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and say yes on this. Um, yeah, I don't. I didn't see any of the other stuff. I didn't see the external. I didn't see jump scripts. Yeah, um, this one I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say no on this one, and then we got the last one here, um, the griefing. Like I said before, man, I feel like if if you're hacking, then man, I'm gonna go ahead and say that you're 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 griefing because you are interfering with the game. You're interfering with my ability to be to have a better rank, which a lot of people care about as well as I do. I care about the rank, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say this guy, yeah, he gets it. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and say this guy gets it. Denied! Alright, this is Ill Shift here from Focus on Play. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you hit the little like button, comment below, and uh, thank you for watching. Peace!